Welcome, my name is Michael Jäger and I would like to give a short demonstration on video for Phosology. So I have a new Phosology instance here. I would like to log in first. By default, the username is Fossi and the password is the same. That's the standard administrator user that comes with every new instance. After you have logged in, you will see an overview about the already uploaded files. I did a test upload here to check if the instance is all right. Let us do another upload. In the menu upload, you have several methods for bringing different files to Phosology, like from the server itself, from, from a given URL, or maybe from a Git server. I would like to choose the simplest way, upload from file. A new page opens. And the most important thing is obviously to select the file. I'm, cho I'm, I'm, I'm choosing the same file again. I add some comment here, real upload. I can make some visibility settings. And now the most important thing is I can select a couple of analysis methods relevant for license compliance. Um, I don't want to go into much detail of the different analysis methods, just to tell you very generally Posology essentially is an application that unpacks all the files and folders that are inside this upload archive and then sends every file to each of these agents. So the agents can analyze what they want. If you implement an agent which guesses the programming language, for example, that could be also useful and very well possible with Posology. In this case, all the agents do stuff around license compliance. So let's continue with that. There are more options which can be set for this upload. For example, automatic concluded license deciding. I don't want to go into this up options right now. There is even reuse where you can reuse analysis and corrections to this analysis from existing uploads to your new upload. That's also a special topic. Let's leave this aside for the moment and just perform the upload. If you upload the file, Phosology will unpack all the files inside and send it to the different agents. So you can see here the unpack, that second, a, that second step is, is creating some internal database structure. And after it has unpacked it, it sends it to all the files to the different agents and the files process these. Right now, there are a couple of zeros here because the agents reuse existing license findings. If you go back to the browse view, there should be a second upload, which I have called the real upload. If you click on the title, the licensing dashboard will open. On the left side, you see all the different license findings found in this upload. For this time, I have chosen a very easy upload, just one licensing finding. So you can have a look at different licenses here. Let's go maybe to the first obvious one, the license text. So the system has recognized the license Apache 2.0, and you can check here by clicking on that number why the regular expressions um, which regular expressions and keywords have been identified being very, very characteristic for that particular license text. And you can check also with the reference text in our database that this is exactly the same text as in our reference database. In this case, you will tell the system, okay, that's, that's basically correct, and you can confirm the finding. Again, you can let, let Phosology do this automatically, but for now we are doing this manually to understand the way Phosology works. There is a gray star here, and actually the gray star allows the clearing expert or the person who investigates the licensing situation of the upload to, to mark this license as being the main license. Since we found it in, as a license file text here and in the upload, we tell, we tell the system by clicking on the star here that the main license of the upload is obviously Apache 2.0 licensed. So we have clarified this file and um, this dot gets green, which basically means that we have reviewed the license finding here. Let's go maybe um, for more license findings which are found here. So there is the source repository where Apache 2.0 licensing has been found. You can have a look in a particular Java file. I was just, I was just choosing um, a particular Java file. And then you see that the system has actually um, found a header which denotes that this file has been licensed under the Apache 2.0 license. So I can click again, identified. And I can go up and see that um, the file which I have visited is actually green. So I can go for the next file. 
and click identify it again. But this upload has kind of like more than 300 files. It will be very tedious to go through all the files and, and, and identify them manually. In this case, I would like to tell the system by copying this text portion here that every time the system finds this header, um, it should confirm the Apache 2 license. So I'm pasting in the header here in the reference text. I'm telling the system to confirm this Apache 2 license finding by clicking here on the plus sign. And then I schedule a so-called bulk scan. The bulk scan will go through all files trying to find the same header word by word, and if so, confirming all the results where this header has been found. So the bike scan went through. I have now a match here. I can click on this number again, and I find here the match, the highlighted, so, uh, the highlighted area. And if I look into clearing history right now, if a license conclusion has been created for that particular file. If I go one level up on the listing of files, you see everything is green because the same header has been found of all source files. And the good thing is you can be sure that really the same header has been found in all the findings. So that's the thing with Phosology. You don't need to look into every file, but you can go and review every license relevant statement. Let's try to understand why there is this thing here. It's still red, like a, sim a single file um, and I can drill down and um, I can I can actually I can't see a difference honestly why why it's still red uh, unfortunately there is no diff view most in most cases it can be something like a dot which is not which is not hitting um, or it could be the quotes but right now I'm not able to find the real difference um, so I can manually identify it let's go back one level up so a lot of fields are green here and in effect even if I filter only for the open files I, I don't have any files and everything is good the entire package has been clarified now I can go up again to the software repository and maybe generate some, some license reporting, like listing all the licenses being found here. So I can generate a readme, and basically this readme is, um, is, is listing all the licenses um, found in this package, which I, have, which I have identified. So a new window opens, and it lists the license text, and you can use that. Hey, what's that? The readme generation also lists all copyrights being identified. And right now I see a number of false positive copyright statements identified by Phosology, and also some look ugly, right? Let's go back into the application to correct the copyright statements. So I go here back to the upload and click on copyright, and then I will find a listing of copyright statements identified for this application. So basically um these 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 and these uh no undo and these are false positives coming from the license text i i identify these as false positives and they will go up and reload into the deactivated statements meaning that the file um, still retains the finding from the copyright agent, but it won't appear in the reporting. Relevant is this copyright statement, and maybe there is an individual file which I can review by clicking here on the one. There is obviously some HTML file which some which which has some more copyright relevant statement. Let us actually jump to here. I'm sorry. Copyright is blue. We can we can try to review the file where the copyright statement has been found. So it could be on the next page. Ah, here there is the second copyright statement. So I I, I see it's it's really a copyright. Oops, Salah, um, I misclicked. It's really a copyright statement, but maybe I could clean this up a little bit and um, uh, beautify the special character. Um, 
and maybe the link is not really relevant for the copyright statements, but I can put it like that in order to beautify it for the reporting. So if I go back and do the reporting here of the README OSS file, wait until it's generated, I, I have the license text here and beautiful copyright statements being generated here for your OSS license documentation. So that's a very, very simple example. There's of course a lot more in the Phosology application which you can do, for example, different other reporting, SPDX reporting, as well as more capabilities to cope with packages which have actually multiple licenses inside. For now, just to give you a short overview on Phosology, this is it. Thank you for listening. And I hope um, you are interested in maybe one of more videos explaining Phosology. Thank you very much.